Hey lads, welcome to another video. Today I will teach you how to simulate the popular Monty Hall problem on Microsoft Excel. So it'll be a simple and quick explanation. So here's the problem and I'll get started. We need to create an initial door which will be constant throughout. So for this I'll choose door 1. And at the end of the video, we'll find out uh, the probability if the door we pick, if we stay with it. So, staying and switching doors. All right, now. We want to do some trials. A thousand trials will give a representative population. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Now, door. Use the rand between function. To generate a random door between door one and door three. Okay, now we've got all the individual doors. So to make this random number correspond with one of one of these doors, we'll go if this number equals one because it's door one value if true yes value if false no and we'll do that separately for each door Alright, so for each for each trial we've got one door that says yes and two doors that say no. One door that says yes, two that say no. Alright. Now staying with the door. If so if door one is yes, so if door one has the car in it, we will return car. If not, we will return goat. So that's staying with our original choice and not switching. However, if we switch, we can find this by doing if to one equals no. then we will return car. If not, we will return goat. Drag that down. All right, staying with our choice of door one, count if range of six to F1 because we did a thousand simulations and we'll put it over a thousand to get a percentage oh yeah I forgot about it if car all right now if we switch count if range Criteria range two. 
two divided by a thousand. Convert them into percentages. Okay, and they both correspond with each other. They both equal one. And as we change, we can see that the answer is obviously 66.67% over the long run. And that switching in this problem is obviously beneficial. In each simulation here, it's correct because if we stay, we don't win. If we switch, we win because door one, no, the game show host is going to offer us, well, they, they're going to open door three and it's obviously not going to be it. And if we switch, we get the car. In this example, though, he'll show us, say, door two. And if we switch, we don't win the car. So they correspond with each other and that's how you simulate the Monty Hall problem in Excel. Hope you enjoyed it and subscribe. Goodbye, lads.